Okay, welcome back. We're still on using page builders. What I would do now is I'm going to just close this space so that I can, oh good, this is what I was looking for. Let me switch to the back end editor. Don't worry if you haven't gotten this yet. We're still going to work with it a lot more. We're going to do a lot of work. I mentioned that don't worry about this in case you're not getting it yet. We're still going to go over it again. It's something that you're going to practice a lot. This is what the back end editor looks like. Unlike the front end editor, you will notice that you're not seeing image, you're not seeing anything. You're just seeing some random boxes and then some things inside. But let me tell you, it's actually easier than you know. If you want to see what's going on here, first thing you do is click on preview changes and that will open a new tab. So this is what we have so far. That's how you can check what you have going on. But I'll go back and then I'm going to do the same thing we're trying to do before, which is to add the rules. Okay, that rule actually was created. It got created, but I'll delete it. I'll click another one, row. All right, the row has been created. This space is actually easy because that front end editor, sometimes you do be messing around. I'm going to go to the left here to do what? I want to partition this row so that one item will be at the left and another at the right. So I'll click on this. See, that's done. Let's say I want my image on the left and text on the right. What do you do? Simply click on this plus sign and add what you want to add. Here, I want an image to go to the left, like I said. I'm going to add the image that I want. I'll choose a different image this time. Let me choose. I mean, I could just choose this. No, this is too long. I want something flat. <laughs> All right, let me work with this. Okay, done. Save. Next, I want a headline to go here. Click on plus. I'm going to look out for heading. That's what I want to add, or headline. People would call it different things. This is a split heading text with inline media, responsive text, rishi rishi. I'm just going to look for, uh, let me look for centered heading. Centered heading. All right, what do you do here? Enter the heading that you want to have. This is Yada, your gateway to making it big in tech all right save let's take a preview at what we have in that section that's how you have to do this see see the image see our text but this is not looking well arranged and i'm going to show you all of that later all i've just wanted to do here is get you familiar with how to move things around on your blog page for example if i don't want this thing moving all this way to be here what do I do? Let's go back to our page. You kind of just need to use your head to match what is here with what you have displayed. You will notice that this front place says split line heading text yada mag. And when you go to the top, that's the first text you see, which makes sense. The next thing is post loop builder blog post per page five. And that's what we have here post loop builder that's what we have in this next session and you will notice that it bounds this place up in one box so this is a section like this that has one row oh sorry yeah that has one row and one column pretty much and then there's another section here that says scrolling text see the name here hot post and that's what we have here in case i don't want this maybe it's distracting to my work what do you do if you delete this, you are deleting just the element inside, but not the entire section. And I would want to take out that entire section. So I'll delete this row, as they call it, all right? Post loop builder. Let's see what that is. That looks like what we have here. I don't need that as well, so I'm going to delete this section. Next is single post reader, all right? Reading is a passport. 
um, I'm just going to remove everything else outside that first section and then maybe add something new to it let me add um, let me see if there's anything like blog all right recent post I can add this element to my blog page such that that section of my page would always show the most recent post on my page so let's add it and see how that works it will ask you to set it up the number of columns how many column is one two to the left three that's column row is this way typically three column works which means you put the text one two three by the other and block category is asking you that which category of articles do you want that recent post to be showing i'll just set it at all which means whenever i publish an article that's what should go on that place and how many posts would you like to display on it let me say six that's three 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 um what else yeah and then save so let's preview that and see what we have see do you know why it's not showing up to the remaining three is because i deleted all the other articles on this page if you remember oh no i deleted that video <laughs> yeah so one two three because that's all i have and you know when someone clicks on this they can read you can see what we have here so this is how you structure your web page you can do so much more but i'll leave this here and the next video I will show you how to publish an articles, add your post into categories and just do all the nice things and that will make the end of building a web blog web page. I hope you found this useful and simple to learn. If you didn't, sometimes you need to watch these things over and over again. I remember when I was also learning. I also learned through a YouTube video, a course that someone created on the drive and then I built my first site without any instruction. So it's something that i believe you can do all right see you